D-S-L-R Film Noob. What I've got today is the Art USB Dual Preamp. This guy runs about $70. has XLR quarter inch combo jacks on the front so you can put either XLR or quarter inch into each of the channels. It's got independent volume control for each of those channels. It's got headphone output with a headphone amplifier built in. It's got phantom power. It breaks out the two channels of audio into these two mono channels that can be combined into a stereo eighth inch plug and run back into your camera. It runs on a nine volt battery and to top it off, it has a USB jack that allows you to plug this into your computer to use it as an audio interface for your laptop or your desktop. This thing has a lot of freaking features plugged into this little guy right here. So let's see how it sounds. All right, for this test, I've got this boom mic right here plugged into a Y splitter, which is then plugged into my Art USB dual preamp, and then out from two quarter inch mono plugs to an eighth inch stereo plug at the camera. I've got the volume set at about half, a little bit less than half, and I'm getting great levels out of my microphone right now. The Art USB dual preamp isn't really designed to be a camera mounted device, so I actually removed these feet off of it in order to drop the weight, and these aren't really doing me any good when I'm using it as a camera mount device. I also drilled some holes in the aluminum case and added this little guy right here so that I can adapt it to a quarter 20. Basically this cold shoe adapter right here can thread right into this guy, and then I can put this on top of a camera. All right, so for this test, I am using the phantom power option on the Art USB dual preamp to power the microphone, pull the audio in, and send it back out to the camera. The wiring is pretty much the same on this, except I'm just plugging directly in instead of using the Y jack. Overall, I think the Art USB dual preamp is a pretty good bang for the buck. You got these two XLR inputs with individual volume control, you got headphone output, plus you've got phantom power, and a USB audio interface for your laptop or your desktop. Now on the downsides, I did find that I had to drill the case in order to make this kind of a mountable option for filming. And the other thing is the USB port right here. When you power this strictly from a USB device, it kind of puts a little bit of noise on the audio when you touch the case. If you take your hand away from the case, the noise dissipates, but as soon as you touch the case, the noise comes back. Now, this might be because I drilled holes in the case in order to uh, mount this little device right here, or it could be the nature of this device. So just keep that in mind if you plan on using this for a USB interface for your laptop or your desktop. I have a full write-up along with pictures on how I adapted this little camera mount to this guy over at dslrfilmnoob.com. Also have information on where you can pick this guy up in the crotch bar below. As always, thanks for watching. And if you like this content, please subscribe.